this video, our Avocado mentor Matthew is going to talk about components and nested instances inside of Figma. Before we jump into the tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you're interested in jumping on a call with one of our Avocado mentors, check out the description as there will be a link there to book the call. Let's jump into the tutorial. Hello, so this is going to be a brief introduction to component properties. Um, so components are basically a way of creating a single um, either icon or image or you know element of uh, design and being able to reuse it multiple times without having to continuously copy paste and like if you change it in one like you have to update it and everything um, it basically serves as like a master copy and then if you make changes to the the master copy then all the um, instances will also change as well so it's super useful super convenient and it makes it a lot easier to keep track of different changes that are going on so the first thing i'm going to do is i have a set of icons here so i'm going to take all of these and what i could do is i could create components out of each one of them so if i click one and then do uh, create component uh, you'll see on the right panel here that there's a properties tab. And if I click that, the plus sign, then it, I have the option to create new properties, right? So I have variants, booleans, instance swap, or a text. So a variant basically means that I can have, let's say icons as the main component, and then a variant being the plus icon or the X icon, right? So I can do that by clicking this plus sign here and it'll create a copy that I can rename to a second variant, right? I can do that if I don't, let's say, already have an existing set of icons that I want to use. But because I do, I'll just undo this and then restart. Um, so instead of making this a component, I'll select all of these icons and then create a component set. And then from there, I have this icon set of components that I'll rename. And then also similarly have the uh, um, properties on the side here. So the first thing I want to do is see that the variants work. So I'm going to click in onto the plus icon and then drag it out, create a copy. And if I look on the side, property one, I see that I can change it to each of the different ones because they're variants of each other. Perfect. Okay. Now that I know that it works, I'll want to go back and then rename property one and call it icon type, let's say. For this example, I'm going to create a, a button. So I'm going to add my text, pressing T, clicking here, typing button. Um, I'll want to group these together. So I'll select both of them and then find group selection. I'll also create auto layout so that I know that everything will stay together. Um, I'll adjust the padding over here, uh, give it a fill, Let's say that's gray. We'll do white. Okay, so this is my button. What I want to do next is make this a component because I want to reuse this button in multiple different places. So I'm going to go up here and then create component and then rename it to button. Now that I have this button, um, remember, I don't want to do anything to the master um, main component. I want to only use instances. So I'll create a copy and you can see this is not filled in. So that's my copy of a button. So this is the main component and then this is the the new one instance that I've created. So here, let's say, for example, I'm creating th multiple different buttons. So I'll have button one, button two, button three. And then in order to change the text, I have to click all the way in, say button one, two, three, and then space it out like that. But that takes a lot more time. And then let's say I want to click in and then change the icons to this or that. That takes a lot more time, especially when you have a lot of different buttons. So what I'm going to show you how to do is add um, different components 
properties to the main component that'll make it easier to go through one, two, and three. Okay, so now I'm gonna click back onto the main button component. And if you look over here on the right panel, if you click the properties plus, then you will see again, all the different properties you have for a component. So first you have variant, which we learned from the icons above, Boolean, instance swap, text, and nested instances. Booleans basically give you the option to show or hide something. So let's say like I want a button with an icon or without an icon, it makes it easier to toggle it on and off. Instance swap lets you basically switch between the variants. Text um, lets you change the text from a high level. So instead of having to click in like I did for button one, two, and three, I, was, I can do it from the top level. And then exposed properties from nested instances basically allows you to, let's say you have properties of the icon within the button component, then you can, as a nested instance, uh, uh, access those uh, properties as well. So let's just start with Boolean, um, create uh, the icon toggle. So what I wanna do is from the main component, click down into the icon. So I get to here. And then if you see under layer, you have the options to change the blend mode, the, the opacity, toggle it on or off. Here, I'll want to do create Boolean property, click this button here on the side. And basically it, gives you the option to name it um, and give a default value. So by default, I'll say I want it to be on and I'll create a property. <clears throat> so now you see here, this purple thing, it says show icons. Basically that's saying that there is a Boolean property for this icon component. So I'll click out, go back to this main component here and I'll see again, it shows here under properties. So now that let's go back to this uh, instance of the button component that I created. So here you'll see on the side panel, now there's an option to show icons. This is the property that we just added and it's easy to toggle on and off having a button. It's very important that you have auto layout enabled so that you can uh, resize the box automatically when you show and hide the icons. Um, but basically that's just a very simple way instead of having to click in and delete. And especially when you have multiple layers within multiple different components, it can get very tricky very quickly. The next one that we'll cover is the uh, text property. So for instance swap and nested instances, I prefer to use nested instances because I find it to be more organized and easier to use. So I'll skip over that and then go straight to text. <clears throat> Again, remember when I went back, I'd have to click in multiple times and then change the text, click in, click in, click in, but instead, we want to do something similar to the show icons where you can do it from the very highest level. So to do that, just like I did with the icon, I'll click on the text this time. <clears throat> and you'll see on the side here, content. And basically that's saying like, this is what the content of the text is. I'll click this icon here again, create text property. And let's change this to button text. And the default value will be button. So I'll create this property. And again, see the purple um, box here, click out, see button text, perfect. So now if I go to button one, I have button text as an option over here on the side. I can just change it to test button and press enter and automatically changes. I don't have to do any typing clicking in. So that's super useful when I have, you know, multiple different buttons. Um, perfect. So now for the last property, I'm going to create nested instances. For nested instances, this is something that's actually different. I don't have to click into the, the um, icon or the text. I can just go here and straight click expose properties from nested instances. So once I click that, I can select, I want to expose properties from icons. And then you'll see, oh, it shows up here, nested instances, icons. So that's the easy way that if I click this instance here, I see icons as another option down in this panel on the side, and then I can click and then change the icon super easily from the top level without having to click in all the way down. So now I'll show a short example of when it might get a little more complex and why nested instances are so important to have. So again, this is our main component for the buttons, and then we have three instances. Let's say I know everywhere in my app, I'm going to have three buttons at the same time. 
So I'll just take all of these, group them, and then create another component. So basically, that means I know that every time I want to use three buttons in a, in a order, then I'll use this. Create a copy. So now this is our nested instance. Move over here to make more space. So main component, main component, main component. And you can tell that by looking at the side. Let me rename this to button group. Rename this to button group. And then button group. So I know that these are main components because these are filled in. And then for this one, it's empty. So what I want to do here is, let's say I want to change the button icon. I would have to click in, and then I see all the properties that we saw before. But again, if I go uh, sorry, here to the main component, click properties, and then enable nested instances, then I can create, expose the properties from each of the buttons. So this is where renaming is really important. So I'll go back, rename them button one, two, and three, right? So now I see, okay, button one, I have options to show icons, change the text, all at the same time. And again, this is where auto light is important and I forgot to include, but here, yes, I can change it, change the text, change the icon, do basically anything that I want here from the very top level all at the same time without having to click in. And that's what makes it so useful because as you, like I said, build on each of these components and build bigger and bigger frames and designs, that's where it can get very complicated and having nested instances and all these properties and in the components um, just shown from the very top makes it super easy, super simple, and helps you stay very organized. So hope that helps, and I look forward to seeing more of your designs.